For more than 50 years, most anthropologists thought that modern humans left Africa around 100,000 years ago. What now Ms. Leah tells us is that actually modern humans left Africa not 100,000 years ago, but 200,000 years ago. This changed the whole concept of modern human evolution. In the Mislia specimen, we use the most advanced methods, using a micro CT analysis, which actually allowed us to dig into the tooth, to virtually peel the layers of the bone and of the teeth. We could look into the tooth, into the dentin layer, and analyze the shape of the dentin, of the roots of the tooth, and of the enamel crown. One of the, the most dramatic events in human evolution is the appearance of our own species, the Homo sapiens. Somewhere between 200,000 and a half million years ago, our species uh, first appear somewhere in Africa. In a certain period of time, Homo sapiens start to migrate outside Africa. When they start moving out of Africa and what geographical route they choose to do it are the two most important questions in recent human evolution. This specimen is actually of modern characteristics. It has more modern features which are similar to modern population than to other ancient populations such as Neanderthals. There are five features that makes uh, the maxilla from Mislia uh, of Homo sapiens. The small parabolic uh, dental arch. The second is the location of the incisive foramen. Another feature is where the, the anterior part, where the zygomatic arch enters to the uh, maxilla. Uh, also the ridge where the uh, anterior part of the zygomatic arch enter to the uh, maxilla. And the last feature is the orientation of the floor of the nasal cavity, whereas in Neanderthals, uh, the level of the floor is uh, inferior to the opening. The finding from Mislia supply answers to those two questions. First, we know that the first Homo sapiens outside the borders of Africa are here in Israel 200,000 years ago. The second, that modern humans prefer what we call the north route, moving out of Africa through, the, through Egypt, Sinai, and Israel into Eurasia. These are the tools that characterize the lower Paleolithic, the end of the lower Paleolithic in the region, mainly bifaces, call them handexes, very thick scrapers. And these are the uh, humans that were in, in the Levant before modern human arrived in Mislia. These are the tools the modern humans made, much more sophisticated, much more efficient, made with the sophisticated Levalois technique with predetermination for and planning, pre-planning of the tools. They were used for uh, hunting, they were used for uh, scraping uh, heights and vegetal material. We found evidence for everything in the cave. Some of them were hafted to create projectiles. And from Mount Carmel, apparently these modern humans with their industry colonized uh, slowly and slowly all of the old world. <laughs>